All right, guys, today it is a whopping 95 degrees. It's a hot day in Texas. Finally getting some real summer days. But we're nonetheless, we're out here. We're on the yard at the factory at Diamond C headquarters. You can see behind me, that's the long building there is the powder coat finish facility for DM coatings. Up there is the, the office at the top of the hill and then the new stacking bay being built, shipping facility. But today what we're talking about is suspension. Suspension's huge, you know, and specifically we're talking suspension on F-Max trailers, which is the fleet neck engineer beam, SDX, which is step decks, and then PX, which is the heavy duty panels. They all share the same frame and same suspension options, which suspension can be, you know, is a big uh, difference maker whenever you're running down the road, depending on the type of work you do. So, you know, a hot shot is a big deal. You want to make sure that you put research into what kind of suspension you choose under your trailer for the work that you do. So there's three different ones that we're going to talk about. Standard leaf spring suspension, meant more for uh, general use, you know, definitely rated for what the trailer's rated for, but uh, kind of, mm, you know, if you ask me, is meant more for the guy who's using his trailer, you know, a handful of times a month, you know, moving that weight, but uh, not just killing it, putting the miles on his trailer and loaded heavy all the time. Then you step up to what is Hutch heavy duty adjustable suspension. Hutch has been around a long time. They build suspensions for semi trailers. And so that's your next step, much heavier duty. Uh, a helicopter moving up there. But Hutch builds heavy duty adjustable suspension for uh, semis for many years. They've been in our in section of the industry for quite a while and Hutch is a super heavy duty suspension that is great for hot shutters, great for hauling heavy. Springs are much more robust. The hangers are much more robust. And then third, we get into air ride. And air ride we see mostly in, in the hot shot arena is where it's mostly called for, but it's what it sounds like. Airbag cushion suspension, you know, where the axles are mounted on airbags. You know, and there's, there's benefits to it as well. So let's go take a look at all three different suspensions. All right, so we got our first top. This is a standard leaf spring suspension. You have a hanger up front, a hanger in the center, and then you got a rear hanger in the, in the back that matches. In the center, you have this long bar, and that's what we call an equalizer bar. And when it allows, as the, the trailer travels down the road, and you say you hit bumps or brakes in the road, it allows the axle to travel up and down on that equalizer, it pivots. And then also it helps with weight transfer, you know, because on a trailer like this one, being, you know, longer trailer 40 footer, you've got weight that you're moving from front to back, depending on how you load it. And it helps kind of uh, equalize the weight distribution between axle to axle. So this is a more standard suspension, leaf spring. It's been around a long time. It's old technology, but it's tried and true. It works well. And I mean, you got some grease points, but again, this to me is the suspension that works for so many people, but often people buy this suspension and again, not that it's not good, but it's the wrong application. So it's like, if I buy this trailer, it's rated for a certain amount. It can be used up to that amount heavily, but it's kind of like if I bought a 2,500 Dodge when I really needed a 3,500 Dodge and over time, it's definitely going to prematurely wear. So that leads us to the next suspension going from standard leaf spring to hutch. Well, one more thing, on the standard leaf spring, a lot of other manufacturers run a 42 inch spread. Diamond C runs a 48 inch spread standard, which helps with weight distribution on the deck. It, it helps you distribute weight between the axles a little better, put, takes a little weight off of the truck, and so it doesn't, not as hard on your tow vehicle. So let's go find a hutch suspension. So you'll be able to tell when I show you how big that hanger is right there and how fat the leaf springs are. Much more robust. This is actually some of the same components that are used on a 40,000 uh, pound semi-trailer. So you got that. This is still an equalizer suspension. It's got the center hanger and out both sides. That's an equalizer. So it still allows 
the weight distribution and allows the travel versus if they were independent suspensions like two single axle kits, there's no equalizer in the middle. So with this, it still allows that same actuation that we looked at on the standard spring. And this one is like a 50 inch spread. So it's even a little bit wider standard spread from center to center on axles than the standard leaf spring suspension, which helps again with weight distribution and takes a little bit of wear and tear off the truck. This suspension, again, much heavier duty and it's pretty cost effective. I mean, when you're talking about spending, you know, 20 grand or 25,000 on this gooseneck trailer, that suspension is say 800 bucks or a thousand bucks. It, it is an investment, but long term, if you're packing on the miles and you're running heavy, definitely want to check out Hutch Suspension, that upgrade. Uh, it's definitely worth it. This is just kind of pointing it out. This is a F Max 212. Here's, it's a 32 foot, so 27 foot of deck plus five foot dove and ramps, two speed Jost jacks, max ramps. It's a beautiful, beautiful trailer. Like that guy knows with kind of that weight or that size combination and that rating with Hutch, I would be willing to bet this is a like a construction type trailer hauling maybe a heavy heavy excavator or something in that in that arena you know and they did the hutch because they know it's going to stay hooked up and stay pushing hard this same exact trailer is available with standard suspension and i could see that being on a farm hauling the tractor you know to the shop here and there hauling hay a few times a year stuff like that but when you get into usage heavier than that a little higher mileage you definitely want to check into hutch suspension all right, let's find an air ride. Air ride has been like insurgents over the last, I don't know, the last uh, 10 years, especially, you know, it's been on, been offered and it's been in the semi trailer industry for a long time, but in gooseneck trailers, more and more folks are going to air rides and it's a way that hot shotters can actually make more money per mile on their runs because certain cargo, certain equipment that shippers need to have hauled has to be on an air ride. And if you don't have it, you can't even, you can't even look at taking that load. So if you have air ride, you know, you can gain uh, kind of higher priority loads that are, that may be fragile or whatnot. And so it's, it's like, just like on the big rigs, you can see there is a big bag on the front, which that's the lift side. So that's the hanger, it pivots the suspension or the axle pivots on that big bolt and floats up and down. This is for the lift axle. So that's one thing that air allows you to do with the air ride is ours is standard with one lift. So on this trailer, if you're running toll or running on toll roads or whatnot, and you're lightly loaded or empty, very lightly loaded or empty, you can raise this front axle off the ground, but you can see the big airbag in the back, big uh, air spring. And so it's gonna be significantly, ride significantly better than any leaf spring suspension, whether that's standard leaf spring or hutch, the air ride floats behind the truck. It's so smooth. And especially a lot of the guys running airbags on trucks and they, get, they have all these uh, shocker hitches and Gen Y hitches that, let's say one of the main guys on the tractor moving trailers around, but you know, combine an air ride with one of these shocker hitches. It's just incredible how smooth, and you're talking, this is a, a 40K rated trailer that we were just looking at. See the telescopler kind of gives it away. It's a 40K trailer on air ride. It is just silky smooth, even loaded, loaded, completely loaded up to the limit. It's still smooth. And so the air ride is fabulous. It's obviously an investment up front, but depending on how much your rear is in the seat, it's a great return on investment later on. You'll, your back will, will definitely thank you. So, and that's a, a ride well component kit. We can take a look at the, uh, we've done this on a, on a different video a few weeks ago, but for the sake of talking suspensions, we'll look inside. So in this box, there's your air controls. It's all on board running off of dual batteries. All of our air rides run dual batteries for the, the sake of you know, battery life and not running low. You know, we hook these things and you know, these batteries in tandem, but you see it's got a pressure gauge, manual dump valve, it's got a valve stem back there. So if you ever lost power or anything, you could manually air up at a, at a uh, air compressor station. 
but dual quarter horse compressors that fill the bags up and you don't have to have air on your truck, which is a, a cool thing. It actually generates its own, it's its own little air compressor, you know, kit. So I hope that was insightful when you're looking for your, you know, your, at your next gooseneck trailer, definitely consider suspensions. It's a big thing. Don't just buy what they have. Make sure it's the right trailer for you. Make sure it has the right suspension for you so that long term, you know, it's a, it's a great investment. So make sure to subscribe to our, our YouTube channel to see all of our latest videos. Follow us on the, all of the major social platforms and we will see you on the road.